It's time to look at some weight loss success stories that were posted in Reddit. The first group of people we'll look at are people with PCOS who still manage to lose the weight. I'd like to congratulate these people because that is no easy task, because PCOS does make it harder. The first success story was posted by Charming Hotel. You can see the picture of her success on the screen. Hi guys! So a lot of people have asked me what exactly I've been doing and tips for my weight loss with PCOS and my journey, and although I am very open in sharing what I've been doing, I'm starting to think it's not necessarily the specific plan I've made for myself. I've tried going to the gym before, following diet plans, and nothing ever really stuck. But last night, I had a bit of an epiphany. We are constantly being told it's 80% diet and 20% exercise, but I think it's actually quite different. It's about 70% diet, 10% exercise, 15% mental, and 5% patience. Patience is the key. Out of all the times I've tried to lose the weight, that is the one thing I have now. A sense of patience. Initially, I did not have any patience, especially not for the first three months of my journey. I thought, if I'm not showing immediate progress, it's just not going to work. And that's when I started posting my progress, and people on here really started telling me, no girl, I see a difference. So I stayed pretty motivated. And over time, as I posted more and more pictures, I found, okay, Even though I'm not going to see immediate results in a day, a week, or even a month, continuing to push forward is better because I'll still reach my goal even if it takes longer. I think with PCOS, we're already given very long time frames in which we're told you can lose X amount of weight in two years, whereas someone without our condition can lose it in eight months, and that can create a sense of panic within us and an underlying urgency that we don't really acknowledge, or some of us might not even realize. And I personally think that what drives a lot of women with PCOS to EDs, because we're being told, yeah, it's going to take forever, so people look for the fastest and unhealthiest methods. Now, what I will say, you have to build the patience. Like I said, I was not patient at all in my first few months, but I can give some tips about gaining patience. I stopped comparing myself to others. Everyone else has different genetics, and most of the people I was comparing myself to either didn't have PCOS or had different fitness goals and such. Finding what works for you is key. My workout routine is literally just a routine I built for myself. Off of what machines are usually open in the gym. I see results because I'm consistent and I enjoy it. If you find something that is consistent for you, stick to it. You will see results. Trust. Don't get hung up on bad days of overeating, lack of exercise, etc. One day isn't going to ruin all your hard work. You can't undo what's been done. We have control of what you do in your present and future. I know it's so hard not to turn around and get hard on ourselves, but keeping this mindset is honestly that foundation of keeping me afloat. You have to believe it's possible and be honest with yourself without persecuting yourself. This has not been a linear or extremely happy journey or experience, but I've learned a lot about myself and I'm so much more honest and transparent with myself now. I'm a lot more realistic in the grand scheme of things. To conclude, you are all so capable, you all can make the changes you want. It's all up to you. Our bodies may be working against us, as we try to make this change, but it honestly makes the victory a bit more satisfying. I believe in each and every one of you, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I should have mentioned this before, but please don't go out to Reddit and harass the people who make these posts. Anyway, here's Gem Monster Mash posting in PCOS Lose It. 100 pounds down, pretty proud of myself. And then there's Used Yogurt Closet. I don't want to think about what that name means, but... July to October. I was bummed when the number on the scale didn't change this week. I usually weigh myself once a month for my mental health. The first picture was after I lost my first 15 pounds. Dumpling Sama asks them to spill their routine. Use yogurt closet. Oh, no one likes when I say this. I'm so sorry in advance. I focused on healing my endocrine system naturally first and added in about 10,000 K steps a day, which was, at the least, some functional movement. 100 grams of protein a day, supplements, Inosatl, magnesium, ashwagandha, spearmint tea, and an herbal blend I researched and made and can't remember what it is because it's just a big jar. And I just realized one day I'll run out and I'll have to do it all again because I was like fatter and sadder when I did it. So I didn't believe it would work. Anyway, I also stopped drinking alcohol and coffee. And now, as an aside, I don't recommend the next part, but she says, I just smoke so much weed. That's why this is so long. I don't believe many people find that weed is a good weight loss drug. Here's a group of people who lost weight using Manjaro. A tendler, down 74 pounds. At 57, I've never felt better. I started at 22 pounds September of last year. 
was on 2.5 milligrams for eight weeks and have been on five milligrams ever since. It doesn't work as well as it did at first, but works well enough. I eat two balanced meals each day, a small portion, one third of what I used to eat, and snack on Greek yogurt, fruit, cheese, and peanut butter mostly. My original goal was 180 pounds. I'm currently at 148 pounds, five foot nine. I think I will begin maintenance at 143 pounds. That, by the way, is a BMI of about 21. That seems a little under the ideal, but it's not dangerous in any way. Here's some pictures of Shorty Girl. They were using 15 milligrams of Manjaro. I started Manjaro October of last year and am down 79 pounds, but been out of work for over three months and haven't been able to work out. I'm back to work on light duty till I can have a partial knee replacement due to a torn meniscus. It's frustrating to lose weight and then hurt yourself. Was told by a surgeon that your body thinks it still has that fat for protection and takes about a year to catch up. Can't wait to have the surgery so I can get back into exercising. Was doing Orange Theory and was working great for me. Being told what to do versus just going to a regular gym was best for me. Keep your chin up, everyone. You got this. Nowhere Homie also posted in Manjaro. I honestly never realized how big I looked until now. When I look back... I really thought I didn't look that big. Starting weight, 260 pounds. Current weight, 184 pounds. 5 foot 1. Temp embarrassed to use Zepbound to lose weight. 30 pounds down. I started intentionally trying to lose weight for this vacation to California. I'm down about 30-ish pounds, mostly from starting Zep in September. Is it noticeable? I feel it more than I see it. It looks noticeable to me. Mr. Chupsa also lost weight using Zepbound. From fake smiles to real dimples, my journey to genuine transformation. Hey everyone, I wanted to share a quick update on my journey with Zepbound. The left photo was taken in May 2024, when I was five months into this process. I was wearing a 3XL jacket, and it wouldn't even zip up. At that time, even though I had started losing weight, I still felt like I had a long way to go. Fast forward to today, right photo, and I'm wearing the same brand, but this time it's an XL, and it fits perfectly. I feel incredible. Last Friday, I officially moved up to 15 milligrams. I posted last week asking for your experiences with 15 milligrams. I want to thank everyone who responded. Honestly, the first two days felt like I got hit by a truck. Even after staying at 12.5 milligrams for five months, I still felt the difference when I made the jump. Now my smile feels more genuine, coming from deep within. There's no more forced smile on my face. I'm even seeing my dimples again after all these years. I'm taking more photos, feeling happier in social settings, and most of all, I'm healthier. That's made all the difference. This medication has truly been my miracle. For those wondering, I started at 320 pounds and am now down to 230. My goal is 170 pounds. I know the road ahead is long, but there's nothing like the feeling of getting healthier and stronger each day. Keep pushing forward, everyone. It's worth it. Laureen the Great also posted in Zep Bound. Four months and 40 pounds. Been on Zep since June 2024. I'm officially down 40 pounds. For reference, I'm 5'4 and started at 240. Today I'm 200. I'm trying to get down to 135. Definitely need to start going to the gym more. I'm a very busy nursing student who works full time. This drug has been a miracle for me. I have struggled with my weight my whole life. I'm still overweight for now, but this drug has given me a new lease on life. I love how clothes are getting looser, and how much truly better I feel about myself. Tear Expression also posted in Zepbound. I don't have many pics of me from before because I hated the way I looked in them. I'm still 20 pounds away from my goal, but came across this picture from right before I started, and it's crazy. This is such a life-changing drug. Heart. Now we're into pictures and weight loss that were just posted in Progress Pics. This one was posted by Low Use. 28-year-old female, 5'6", went from 400 pounds down to 136 pounds. 264 pounds lost. From a size 30 to a size 3. And here's Far Guest. A 20-year-old female, 5'2", they went from 117 to 112 pounds. That isn't much change, but if you actually look at the picture... You'll notice that she's gained a lot of muscle and lost a little bit of fat. Two years after hitting the gym consistently. Fargast writes, I wanted to go from skinny fat to fit and I made it happen. So proud of myself. I never grew up doing sports or anything athletic, so it was a big step out of my comfort zone to start going to the gym. When asked about the routine, Fargast writes, 
I was doing two to three days of cardio in addition to two to three days of weightlifting. I've never cut or bulked. Just a big focus on protein in every meal and eating clean. Love you, Bo Meme. Post their picture. 29 year old female, 5'9, 256 pounds, down to 189 over four years. Two years of weight loss, down to 175, gained 50 back when I started a new medication, and finally losing again. Love how much stronger my body feels, so now hiking is now one of my favorite activities, because I'm not out of breath the entire time. They add, lost the weight using Sicko, 16-8 fasting, 5 days a week, 24 fasting, 2 days a week, prioritizing protein, lots of walks and hiking, making sure to meal prep on Sundays, and not denying myself as long as it fits into my Sicko budget for the day. Daisy Outlook also posts a picture. A 19-year-old female, 5'6", they went from 237 pounds down to 135, over a period of 1 year and 5 months. I do still want to lose 10 to 20 pounds, but everyone is telling me that I should stop now. Just need to exercise more to build muscle and tone up a bit. Live Love, a 27-year-old female, 5'3", who went from 235 down to 150 pounds, over a period of about 36 months. I haven't taken pictures of myself for comparison throughout my journey. This is my first ever progress pic. Really puts things into perspective. Feeling proud of all my hard work so far. This is a deleted account, so who knows what their name was. A 21-year-old female, 5'7", that went from 155 pounds down to 128 pounds, over a period of 5 years. I've been maintaining this weight, plus or minus 5 pounds for about a year and a half now, but it's crazy how much my side profile has changed. X Bam Toast. He's a 30-year-old male, 6'3". He went from 530 pounds down to 270. They started overweight. Then... Due to unfortunate circumstances, they became skinny and paralyzed neck down, and then, eventually, they became walking and muscular. Crazy journey over the past three years, but I'm proud. Silver Fawn, 34-year-old female, 5'4". They went from 190 pounds down to 120 pounds, over 12 months. Going on three years, maintaining my goal weight, getting fitter every day. Glad Growth, a 36-year-old female, 5'7". They went from 286 pounds down to 150. 136 pounds gone in 2.5 years. Muscle gains only. I zoomed in on their legs because, damn, look at those quadriceps. I was kind of curious what exercises they were doing. Fortunately, they talk about it. Glad Growth talks about their program. Lots of eggs. Typical day looks like breakfast. Four whole eggs plus two egg whites. Turkey bacon. Whole wheat toast with grass-fed butter. Snack, pineapple, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and grapes. Lunch, air-fried sweet potatoes, lean ground beef with peppers, and black beans. I turn them into nachos. Dinner, if I'm hungry, same as lunch, or chicken fajita burritos consisting of grilled peppers, fat-free refried beans, chicken breast, and taco seasoning on a low-carb tortilla topped with green salsa. Snack, more fruit. As you can see, they're actually eating a reasonable amount of food. They add, I should clarify that I have not stepped foot inside a gym. This is all thanks to Orange Theory Fitness. One hour a day, five days a week. Nothing more, nothing less. I've never done Orange Theory, but from what I've been able to tell, this is what it involves. It's a one-hour class led by a coach. You spend some time on a treadmill, you spend some time rowing, and you spend some time both stretching and lifting weights. It's probably a great all-around workout, But you probably won't get really good at either the cardio or the weights since you don't put much time into each one individually. So no real explanation as to why her quads are quite so amazing. Perhaps she did sports when she was younger. Spooky Season posted their data and data is beautiful. 200 pounds lost in 355 days. Lost 100% naturally through diet and intense exercise. As you can see from the picture... They started at about 375 pounds and are now down to about 175 pounds. That's a crazy amount of weight to lose in one year. That's almost four pounds a week. Extremely unhealthy. I've never seen anyone recommend going over two pounds a week. Anyway, they explain, I'm 29 years old. I recently lost 200 pounds in 355 days naturally through intense diet and exercise. No medication or surgery was used whatsoever throughout the weight loss. I realize I lost the weight at a rate that isn't considered healthy, 
I personally recommend anyone trying to lose weight to have more patience than I did. However, I'm proud and want to use my journey as an example of what can be done when you don't allow anything to get in your way or stop you. And one post from D Chonkers. Here's the before and after picture. It was posted by a wandering islander. Chonks no more. This is Zeus. I previously posted about him. He was 8 kilograms and was obese at his fattest. He then got urinary obstruction partially caused by being overweight, so he really needed to take his diet seriously. He's now on a prescription wet diet only, which has helped his dechonkin. He's able to run around more and has become more active. He's still very greedy, so we have to hide all the food. Our two other cats are grazers, so it's a difficult task, but we manage. Thank you for watching that video. If you liked it, please consider clicking like and subscribe. If you really liked it, please consider becoming a member. Members at every level get the videos before anyone else. Members at the top two levels get their names read out at the end of the video. And members at the very highest level get one short video about every two weeks. And speaking of mentioning top viewers, extra special thanks go out to Emmett McNally, Cupcake or Death, Wolf Child Rusk, Maria P, Syringa H, Rue the Viewer, Grey Warden Invasion, and one channel which only appeared to me as channel has been deleted, which was very confusing because they seem to still be a member, even though their channel was deleted. I have no idea what's going on there. Thank you to everybody who watched this video, and I wish all of you wonderful people a wonderful day.